Hi all, uh, in this video we'll be seeing how to use the Mac Automator. Okay, Mac Automator is a pre-installed application that you get in every Mac, uh, which is used to create workflows to perform simple and complex tasks. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Mac Automator. I'll be creating a workflow for your better understanding. So first go to the spotlight search and search for the application automator click on new document and you'll see this tab opening so there are eight different types of uh, workflows that you can create first one is the workflow type which is the most simple one so when you run the workflow uh, there is one particular task that is performed which you assign to it and you can also create an application where you know if you run the application a work or uh, a task is performed and with the help of a quick action you can actually access it on the menu bar or sometimes you can get it on the spotlight search as well and there are many other types of documents as well but in this video we'll be focusing on the workflow type which is the most basic one so choose the workflow type and click on choose so let's create a workflow here um, you may have tried uploading pictures and websites and it would have told you to shrink the images and then upload so let's try creating a workflow to resize images so in the left hand side of the tab you can see a number of actions here so a combination of actions will actually create a workflow right so the first action required for our workflow is to fetch the image so we need the ask for find items action to fetch the image uh, probably fetch the item from the desktop and the type could be a file and you can also allow multiple selections here so for now let's just have uh, one image that could be selected so let's try running the workflow now you can select an image here uh, I've downloaded this image called nature here I've renamed it as nature so let's choose this and now you can see the result it has selected or fetched the appropriate picture here now let's add the next one let's try duplicating the whole picture yeah so let's search duplicate finder items so this is an action that will help you duplicate the image that you have chosen from the previous step so you'll have to simply drag and drop the actions uh, into the place where you're creating the workflow so uh, you've created the second step here and then the third step would be resizing the image now there is this action called scale images which resizes the specified image so this is the appropriate action that we need so let's drag and drop this in the workflow and now it's asking if you want to create a copy of the image that you have click on don't add because you already have a copy of the image in the second step now here you can specify the size of the image let's say 100 you're specifying the width and the height will be adjusted accordingly and now run the workflow select the image and you'll see it's done so click on results here you'll see the copy of the nature file over here you can also view it in the desktop so i hope you understood the basics of the Mac Automator. Thank you.